Look at that view. Ain't it a beaut? How much would you give to come down to the bottom of the ocean? The literal bottom. That's where we are. Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Soma, what episode is this? 48? Something? I think this is 48. Something. I don't know. Not like I count. <laughs> and if anybody needs any trivia, this is my longest running you, uh, the uh, Let's Play series so far. I think the longest running before that was Outlast. I had like 34 episodes. Anywho's. So, <laughs> without wanting to um, procrastinate too much, we are uh, heading towards, I think it's still Tau. We just have to uh, sort of keep to the lights. And of course, what kind of situation wherein you must keep to the lights would it be? What kind of a situation? What? <sighs> my, my brain is all over the place. What better? For keeping in the light, then not to give you any. You see it? Did you see any lights over there? There's no freaking lights down there. <laughs> There's some. Hey. <laughs> oh god. It's gonna be awful, isn't it? Um. Ah, that's a nice effect. Huh? Seeing that little smudge, it kind of feels like that's a thing on this radar. Okay. ACR landing. T uh. Am I, is this where I am? TVSD? And that was the observatory? I don't want to go to the observatory. I want to go to town. Or to the ACR landing? Beacon offline. Beacon offline. Alright. What choice do I have then? The illusion of choice is such a weird thing in video games. Hey, buddy. Okay. Keep to the lights. If I have to run, you let me know. Yeah, you make all the no the noise you need. All right, it's fine. I'm gonna look down so that I don't lose sight of these lights. That's right. Hopefully, I'm gonna, yeah, chase the lights, chase the lights. I think I still have the center light in my vision think. Okay, no, that's the center light. Come on, fucking run, Simon. Don't you know how to run with a body that doesn't belong to you? <laughs> okay, that was a little scary. Did you notice that? I did. I'm guessing Ross is still with us. In, uh, some capacity. In spirit, perhaps? Not. Oh! Oh, I see. I see how it is. Okay. Great. Great, 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 great. Oh boy. I'll tell you what's going to happen is I'm going to just go in this direction. I'm going to walk forwards and I'm going to. Oh, Jesus. I'm going <gasps> to. Yee, spiders. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Jeez, all this shit at once. What are you doing to me, video game? I see there are red lights over there. Let me just take a quick peek outdoors. Oh, no, I, there's, oh, there's no reason. <sighs> okay. Yep. I wonder who put these here. It's awfully nice that somebody did. Um, and I suppose I should also wonder how long ago. These glow sticks don't tend to last that long, do they? Any who's? Okay, let's take a deep breath. And just move on. We're moving on. Everything that is happening to me right now is not stuff that I can do very much about, I think. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Boy, did I, I feel like I had one or two things that I could talk about uh, and that I'm, I've just completely forgotten them now because all of this awful, terrible stuff has happened and I can't, I can't think anymore. I can't think, no. Oh, man. Okay, there's light over there. 
I'm figuring that light is the indication for where I need to go. I'm figuring. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's, uh, let's... Ah, no. Let's just go with the assumption. Let's be simple about it. I wonder if it's not going to make a crunch when I step on one of these guys now. Alright. That would have been a nice detail. Man, oh man. Are they laying it on? They're really laying it on. It's got my the end of the game is coming senses really, really going. I know I said that before. I know it's kind of pointless to keep saying it. But that's my feeling. What's going on? Oh, current. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What's going to happen next? Oh, do I follow this cable? I don't trust that light. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I don't trust that light. That is not a light I want to trust. You can kind of feel... Hang on, hang on. Let's go a little QA on this. You can kind of feel in between... In between moments in this current, you can kind of feel there is something attached to that light. I'm not buying it. No way. I am not buying it. However, on the other hand, what options do I have? There are lights over there. I have those as options. Yeah, that's an option. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna hope that uh, I will be given enough time to run if I need to. Hmm. <laughs> oh. That still freaks me out. That still... Oh, hey, Ross. What's good, man? Is that you, Ross? Maybe it's not. Maybe it isn't. I can't tell. It's not like I'm gonna go check. I'm not gonna shake your hand or nothing. Friggin' Ross. Okay, maybe I... Oh, no, this is the direction, I think, here. <laughs> oh, horror games. I don't know how much deeper into terrible situations we can possibly go. I mean, it was bad enough just going down to the bottom of the ocean where I happen to coincidentally be super vulnerable. But now we're down here again, and there are things after me, and there are mutant fish, and there are currents that probably threaten to blow away all these lights. And it's still the end of the world. And I guess I should count the fact that I'm still inhabiting someone else's body, even though they're dead. Uh, that I am inhabiting a body of some one. I forgot what her name was. I mean, once you're dead, I guess it doesn't matter. You don't have a name once you're dead. We're just talking about your memory at that point. It's not your body. We're not still talking about how fat you are or whatever. <laughs> Although, that's something I could imagine myself doing. I'm a really awful person about that. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Oh! <laughs> I'm still having fun with that thought, though. Where are you, buddy? I'm still enjoying the thought, you know? A person is dead. There is no more context where a person's muffin top is still relevant. You can still talk about it, though. I guess. Oh, you, you done? Good. I wonder if that is Ross, and he's just kind of <sighs> guiding me in a really awful manner. I mean, when you have an awful nature, I guess the only thing you can do is continue being awful. I mean, at least then you're reliable. I suppose it would be a bit more awful if someone who is, by nature, quite awful. <laughs> just super awful. And then they try to do something normal. Perhaps this relates a little bit to what I was talking about in the last episode, where a guy of really major consequence in a fictional story has a, has a regular old name, you know? 
it would uh, it would just be weird. It'd be a little bit awkward. It'd be a little mm, a little outside of the outside of the the fiction, outside of the environs. I'm not sure how to I'm not sure how to call it, but it would just be weird, you know, take you out of the context a little bit. Boy, I, I'm I'm still gonna follow some of these lights, but boy, this <laughs> look at that. There's no reason to have just friggin' girders poking out of anywhere. I think it's enough of an effect just to have a whole lot of wow things crawling over a facility. I think they overdid it a little bit. I gotta ask though, here's a question: Why are there bioluminescence? Uh, Bioluminescent pustules, I guess? Why are those things there? I like to think, from an evolutionary standpoint, that there ought to be a purpose. But there isn't necessarily one. Uh, there, I mean, it, yeah, there's no vision for it to help? I guess? That, oh man, it, this reminds me of a term that I didn't want to forget. There's a word, I learned it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think I even wrote it down. Let me grab my cell phone, let me risk being super disinteresting for, for a moment. Not interesting at all. Um, yes. There is a, a term for an adaptation that doesn't actually have anything to do with evolution. It's just kind of a, a piggybacking thing. And, and it's called an exaptive adaptation. Or an ex- like, something is exaptive, right? The example that I was given was that, say, uh, bones are white, and that is an exaptive thing. It doesn't actually relate to the, e to the evolution, but it happened to happen while another thing was being evolved for, I guess. I, I'm-, I'm Butchering this whole thing. Because once again, my mind is all over the damn place. Got a lot to think about. Now, uh, is this Phi? Or is, no, it looks like more Tau. This, that, well, it's a T over there anyway. It's a Tau. Hello? I wonder if Catherine's still pissed at me. I hope she isn't. Yeah, she probably is. I mean, so Simon version 2 was a total dick. A little bit. Understandably. I mean, you just found out that you're not literally being copied over. You are actually being copied over while the other one... While the other Simon is still there. And then you kind of have to still deal with him. You're kind of forced to... Kind of kill yourself in a way while you're... Born? I have not... I haven't digested those thoughts yet. I guess. I'm just digesting them now. Oh boy. What am I going to face here? Never been happier to be inside. Let's find the Ark. Let us begin with assuming that the Ark is even here. When was the last time we checked to make sure that the Ark was there? Because honestly, I think it's been an awfully long time. I'm really cool with going on assumptions. What else can you do in this situation? But, I mean... Uh, these suits kind of freak me out a little bit. I don't want to look at them. Let me just put this away. Over there. Ah, let's take a moment. Welcome to town. What's left of it? Are you guys alright? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit, they all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. New characters. Pedersen. Ah, uh, that's kind of neat, I suppose. Pedersen. This place has sound design. I like it. Blood hazard, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well, uh, hey, let me just walk right around here. I don't know if there's much that I can really do here. I don't know what the uh, usefulness of any of this would be. Number three is active. All right. Access log. Um, what's the deal with this one? Yeah, no, well, I mean, they they did quite literally spell it out. How about that? It's kind of nice. I suppose it's very considerate. Uh, I don't know. Is it considerate that a bad guy wrote basically their name? Uh, okay, well, there's these three. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. There's tracking for these suits, but... There's still three of them. There's one over here in Omicron, there's one over there at the climbing station, and there's one here in Tau. I wonder... Ah, there's things to wonder about, yeah. I wonder which one might have been number three. Perhaps number three is still here. Perhaps there's going to be a greater danger than I am used to. Yeah? I mean, why should I doubt that? Of course, I should expect it. Ah, autosave. Good old buddy. Letting me know that shit's gonna go bad? Yep. Uh, how bad can things be if it's offering to... Huh? I beg your pardon? I don't know what's going on. Something's going on and I don't think I like it. Well, okay. Airlock was pressurizing. What was going on? Oh, is that a, is that that over there? At the end of that ominous hall. Whoa! 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 <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow! What the hell? That was an interesting sound effect. It immediately got me scared. There's a degree of... There's a part of me that wants to learn sound design. Just long... Just... You know, to be able to... Be able to figure out, to understand a little bit... Just how the sound... How it works. You know? What it is about sound... That gets a guy like me so scared so easily. Hello, uh, Mr. or Mrs. <laughs> okay, great. I mean, to a degree, I already know the answer. Uh, it's, you have to have sounds that are just completely outside of normal occurrence. We've already been through this. You know, it's easy. But still, I mean... I still haven't actually played with it myself. Hello. Someone there? <laughs> Ross. I'm just gonna figure Ross is behind everything at this point. So, okay, I'm, I'm there. Um... Should I commit this to memory? Should I take a pic- I'm gonna take a picture of this. This is a habit that I don't do often enough at the expense- uh, At the risk of not being very interesting on screen again. At least I have a cursor. I'm going to take a picture of this. Let's just line this up nice. There. Took a picture of that. I don't know. I don't think it made a sound. But that's a habit that, uh, you know, friggin' why wouldn't you? You have, a, you have a cell phone. You have the ability to take nigh unlimited photos. There's really very little reason not to. Now I'm going to go over here, though. Yes? Safe? Hang on a second. I thought... Maybe I didn't actually just... Okay, maybe it's like... Is that anti-aliasing that just kind of... Hmm. There was a little... There was a little, little, little tiny thing. It's probably nothing. Oh yeah, that's contrasty. That is uh, awful. Ooh. Given what we know about the WoW, 
A room like this really does not feel safe at all, huh? <sighs> Once again, wondering what these friggin' pustules are. Bet they're eyes. Anywho. Let me just hide right here. Hello? Okay, maybe this whole uh, pressurizing thing was not a thing at all? That would be fine. I must be on the other side of that. Okay. I'm gonna hide here. Probably a bad spot. I'm gonna go over here, in fact. What the fuck is going on over here? Jesus, there's six of those things, huh? That must be a serious ass door. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. There's that suit we were looking for. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm doing the wrong thing by standing right here. Yeah. That's the wrong thing to do. However. However, I don't know what else I can do. Because I think going around here would make me visible. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, uh... You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna leave this on a cliffhanger, I guess. There's someone in here with me. I don't know who it is. Or even if it's a who. Something is in here with me. <sighs> and in the next episode, we're gonna try to navigate around him. Uh, maybe I'm gonna die. Let, let me just hold on here. See if we die. Uh. The guy's got breathing trouble. Maybe he's got allergies. Mm. This is... A <laughs> he's gurgly too. Oh, he's gurgling Listerine. Everywhere I listen, he is to my left. Interesting. Okay, well, since I'm not dead yet, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. <laughs>